hello everyone in this tutorial i want to show you the new look of blockchain mobile app interface uh, if you have updated your blockchain you would notice some differences and if you are installing it for the first time now you will also notice that it will be different from what you used to know so i want to go ahead and begin from from the scratch so let's say you don't have this blockchain bitcoin wallet already so you have to go to your mobile app store look for blockchain this one all right download and install it then fill in your details your email and what and other details password i've already done this so i'll go ahead and open it so once you open it um you will notice some minor differences if you are already using blockchain before and it just updated or you uninstalled and uh, reinstalled as a matter of fact if you just installed blockchain bitcoin wallet or you just created a blockchain account on mobile then do work to click on this tab go to backup fonts here backup fonts you'll be able to write down your 12 phrases 12 uh, word phrases okay you will need this to recover your forms if anything happens to blockchain or even if you lose your account or whatever you could always use the 12 phrases to head over to any wallet and recover your forms okay because blockchain is like a decentralized bitcoin wallet and exchange so that's very important you have to do it if you are if you just created this newly if this is a new wallet right another thing you can do from this session is to go to settings and change your currency your default currency you could change it from dollar to euro to pounds depending on your country and whether your country currency is supported on blockchain having said this let's look at the minor differences we have on blockchain mobile app interface previously we used to have the send and the request or receive button here but they have changed so some of you may be wondering how can i send bitcoin how can i receive bitcoin right so it's simple there are two places you can find this so number one the first place is to click on the cryptocurrency symbol or name like this in this case bitcoin right if you click on bitcoin you see you will see bitcoin you will see two bitcoin right but you are looking at bitcoin wallet balance click on it from here you will see receive a send and receive okay so if you click on send you will be able now to put in the bitcoin wallet address here where you are sending and also put in the dollar value or the bitcoin value and and send right um the same is applicable if you want to receive you want to get your bitcoin wallet address click on the same bitcoin symbol and click on this bitcoin wallet balance and then you see receive right if you click on receive you will see the barcode and then your address so to copy your address just uh, hold press on this and hold press on the, the, your address and hold it will ask you to copy it see copy this address to the clipboard if so be advised that other applications may be so if you click on yes it is already copied to the clipboard right you could then send it to the person that is sending you bitcoin all right so the second way to do this is to click on transfer so when you click on transfer you would see the set is already by default on send side you could change it also to receive so now it's on the send right so you click on my bitcoin you know that you're about to send bitcoin you see the same thing put in the address put in the dollar amount or put in the btc amount and then you send your bitcoin if you want to receive click here it will change to receive then click on bitcoin 
so we are having the same barcode and then bitcoin address you could press the bitcoin wallet address and then copy it to the clipboard and send right so that's how to use the new interface um before i i round up this um i want to say something when you are through with your 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 business in your blockchain wallet you don't have to you don't need to log out all you need to do is to just close the app right like you just close all the apps you don't need to log out all right because you you choose f uh, security pin for four digits you normally use to log in whenever you want to you know get into your blockchain app so that one suffices because when you sign out you will need to pay your device to be able to get into your wallet address and you will need to do that through com a computer right to get back in if you sign out please do not sign out just close your app if you want to open it you put in the default digit pin and then get back in all right thank you for watching i hope this was helpful bye for now